Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mixed Media Monday. I am Ophelia. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, what I would love to do today is just create some backgrounds. Um, here in North Carolina, the weather's um, getting warmer and I like to then take things outside. Um, so I thought that I would get my journal prepped for um, taking it outside and going different places um, as the weather gets warmer, we like to head out. Um, and I never, ever, ever go without my supplies. So I thought it would be pretty neat today to just kind of get my sketchbook ready to travel. And I, and I wanted you guys to do the same. So all of the supplies that we're gonna be using are gonna be in the description box below. Um, but before we begin, I'd just like to run you through a few of the things that I'll be using. Now, as we get ready to travel and we get ready to go places and um, take our journals outside, we can't necessarily have all of this production going on with us, which is why I like to prep mine ahead of time. So I'm going to be using um, their Lucas Krill paints in titanium white carmine, rose, Indian yellow, and fluorescent magenta. And I also have a Sennelier um, abstract paint number 615. That one's my favorite one to use. Um, I've got some inks. These are Liquitex inks, and I'm just gonna be using Quinn magenta, pyrrole red, and um, yellow orange azo. I also have some, or my Lucas watercolor tin that I'll just um, do some playing around with. Um, what do you call it? Watercolor pencils, and these are ink tint pencils in um, just a variety of colors. I just chose a red and a yellow, and then some sprays maybe for some spritzing into the background. Um, so if this is something that you're interested in doing to get your sketchbook or your art journal ready to travel, then just keep watching. I am working in um, just my seam Stillman and Burn um, sketchbook that I have. And um, the first thing that I thought would be kind of cool to play around with are the, these are the Derwent ink tints pencils. What I like about these guys is that it's ink in a pencil form, so they travel very nicely. Um, and what I like to do is the, I guess I should say the thing is once they're down and they, they dry, they don't move anymore. So they're not going to lift. Um, and, um, I'm just going to put down some red. And the thing is, I'm not even, this is so not red. This is yellow. <laughs> yep. We thought we caught me off guard. Nope. It's yellow. Um, with my backgrounds and when creating backgrounds, this is, I think it's almost like mindless work where I'm not even really thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just kind of doing it as I go along. Um, and I like to get a bunch of these, depending on like where I'm going or for how long I'm going to be gone. Um, I just kind of do a bunch of things um, just to feel creative, creative even if it's not necessarily a full production. And I know I keep saying that a lot, but there literally are times in my studio where I feel like I just don't want to put out paint or um, create a finished piece. I just kind of want to play around with my supplies. So all I've done so far here is literally just kind of cover this background um, with those pencils and I'm just gonna get my brush wet. I could make it super simple and um, just kind of spray it with water to get everything going. But what I love is just how vibrant these colors are without really even having to do anything. And just like that, I've got myself a background um, that's ready to go. I don't know if you guys notice here as I'm doing this, the more that I work it or the harder that I kind of um, move my brush back and forth, you get some bubbles. That's just where I've literally over, um, what's the, overworked. 
um, these inks with my paintbrush because you can kind of um, put them down and let them go. For me, however, it doesn't usually even bother me that there are bubbles. It just kind of adds to the, the I guess, the texture. I will say that before doing this, I already had some gesso on the back of my paper or I put gesso down first because I like the way that things move um, on a gessoed surface as opposed to a non-gessoed surface. So before we even started, I had gessoed gesso on the back of this page. And with very little effort, I've got myself a pretty nice background um, that I can then continue once I'm out on the road. So I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back for background number two. I'll be right back for background number two. Uh -huh. You know what I just thought about as this was drying? Um, which it's dry enough, but I wonder what would happen if I took, I took some of this. Nope, which it, let's, let's do both. Let's do both. This is the um, Mirabu Art Spray. And even though this looks good as it is, what happens if we kind of spice it up some? So I'm gonna do some splashes. And then I'm also gonna take a little bit of some of the ink. And I've just kind of put it on the side of my palette here because I don't want like large drips that I would have to work or What's up with that? I don't want large drips that I would have to work around later, but maybe I just want um, some like subtle splashes. So I'm gonna add those while we're here. And then I'm going to let it dry. I don't even have a, do I don't have an arrow? Okay. Now I'm going to let it dry. And I'll be back for background number two. For my second background, I thought I would play around with some inks. Because, again, I like that when I put things down, they're pretty permanent. Um, so I've just made myself a little palette here with the yellow and the red and the magenta. Um, and I may even play around with some watercolors mingled in. I'm going to spray this page down, and this page, again, has already been gessoed because I just personally like, regardless of what type of sketchbook I'm using, I will always I, somehow prime or prep the pages because I just like the way that things move on a um, gessoed surface. So I am just going to use my spray bottle with water. Um because I want my colors to kind of mix and mingle some. I'm going to, um, this brush is dirty, pick up some of this yellow and, oops. See, I feel like I've got everything, oh, that's dirty. Everything in the same color family today. Um, let's do some of this down here and some of this and spray bottle and so now again I'm wondering what would happen if um, I'm trying to be neat but I'm also trying to let you see and it's not working all what I want to do is um, just kind of let these colors mix and mingle a bit on their own and because my favorite part is when they mix together without any effort on my part. And what I also want is if I'm out somewhere, I like to keep my backgrounds pretty light in nature just so that um, the things that I would then put on top aren't really competing against like a, a dark black background. Um, so I think maybe a little bit more over here.
and ooh. So I think this is good for, oop, I tricked myself. I'll let this drip a little bit more. And I guess the best part is I've not really decided like what orientation the pages are gonna go at this point. Um, but I think, All of that was all dripping the same way. Okay, I, oh, okay, stop it, that's enough. Don't overwork it. Okay, that's it. I think at this point, it's good enough where I am going to, I just started a new page. I'm gonna let this dry up and I'll be back for background number three. That was kinda cool, huh? I'm going to use some of my acrylic paints here finally. And I'm thinking that, um, because again, I don't know what's going to be going on these. And I all I almost feel as though I've selected the same color palette over and over again. Um, because like reds and oranges and yellows are just my go-to. They're just my favorite colors. Yes, I'll throw in like a turquoise every so often, but these colors are just the ones that make me happy. So they're the ones that we're going to use throughout all of the backgrounds, all 57 backgrounds. So I'm just going to start playing around with some paint. Yep, let's, let's play around with some paint. I was almost going to play around with watercolors, but we're going to play around with some paints first. So I'm just taking some of the um, Indian yellow. And because, again, I don't know what's going to... Um, happen to these pages as I go, I'm trying to keep them um, pretty light. And so I've got some of the rose and some of the white. And let's just do two at once because, well, we can. So I'm just putting down Let's throw in a little bit of orange. Ooh, you know what? I wonder what would happen if, too late, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spray this with water and then I wonder, let's just see what happens. I'm going to like mush the pages together and lose them. I like that it gave it some texture. Um, so let's just keep playing.
Okay, so with that, I think I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll be right back. Because I legit forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so um, I've just shown you all three um, simple backgrounds that you can use to kind of take your art with you on the go. The first one, I'm just using Derwent Ink Tense Pencils, kind of scribbled around. Um, and now we've got ourselves something that we can build on later. The second one was the inks that I used and kind of painted around the page. And then over here, which again, in the same color scheme, um, is some acrylic paints with some um, spray inks kind of splattered, um, just so that we'll have something later to build upon. I hope that you will grab your supplies and get your sketchbook ready to take outside or take on the go for your next adventure because it's, I feel as though it's time for us to take it outside. Um, it, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. If you're going to play along with us, make sure that you use the hashtag Mixed Media Monday and also tag Jerry's Artorama as well as Ophelia's Art Studio on Instagram. And um, I thank you guys so very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. And it's not in here. Hold, please. I'm getting my life together. Okay, these are dumb. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I found my, I found my paper towel. But I've lost my glue. Out. Oh my god. I'm sorry about him. Oh my god, I lost this. Wait, what? It hit my head. <laughs> Are you serious? I don't know where it fell from. Um, because we've lost a glue stick.